Hello everybody, Dan here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. All right, so let's get right into it, guys. Today's story is about Jamal Menzies and, well, Veronica Rodriguez. We're also going to talk a little bit about Tim as well, but it's about Jamal and perhaps Luisa. Now, if you guys watched the tell-all that just happened, it was a bit of an explosive one. Now, some people got really sick and tired of Jamal's antics. They also are tired of Tim. Uh, people are also tired of Veronica. People are, are tired of the whole thing. But it was actually quite interesting when uh, Jamal basically hinted that Tim was gay, which has been a rumor that's been circulating for some time. Tim regularly denies the rumor, but that rumor just keeps coming back all the time. And Jamal basically threw that rumor at Tim at the tell-all he basically accused him of being gay and he also said that the relationship Tim has with Veronica is weird and abnormal um, one thing that perhaps you guys noticed is Louisa in this whole thing uh, her behavior was kind of bizarre a little bit and of course she was siding with with Jamal and there was a bit of a weird vibe between them so it has sparked rumors that perhaps Louisa and Jamal might start dating. So perhaps Jamal has a bit of a fetish for Tim's sloppy second, so to speak. Veronica and Louisa, perhaps. He likes going after, you know, Tim's ex-girlfriends. So let's take a look at what's going on because a lot of people are talking about this. Did Jamal hook up with Louisa 90 Day The Single Life? So Jamal and Louisa may be the next power couple. I wouldn't be so quick to say that. With fans speculating on their relationship dynamics. Now, viewers believe Jamal and Luisa teamed up to take down Veronica and Tim, potentially forming a new best friend duo in the franchise. Despite their split from their respective exes, Jamal and Luisa's interactions at the tell all suggest a, co a complex dynamic that could lead to more drama in the future. So, viewers are certain that Jamal and Luisa Beltran are the latest franchise couple on the block. Jamal was introduced as Kim Menzies' son. A 90 Day Fiance uh, before the 90 Day Season 5. The young and level-headed Jamal. Back then, I, I think that perception about Jamal has changed quite a little bit. I think he was a likable young man back then. But I think that he's kind of been exposed to being kind of immature, um, you know, narcissistic, and uh, just, I don't know, very self-interested, and uh, just not an overall super serious kind of character. He's just there to have fun. And he's kind of obnoxious, and a lot of people said, I used to like you, Jamal, but after this tell-all, not anymore. So perhaps you guys let me know what you think about Jamal. If you watch The Single Life and you watch The Tell-All, uh, how do you feel? Do you still like Jamal like you did before, or do you feel a bit differently about him? Now, of course, I touched on this in a previous video. The tell-all has a way of changing people. Many people, we spoke about Jabri recently, Many people come on the tell-all and they lose their minds and then they say a bunch of things and then those things stick with them for months and years and then those people start regretting their actions at the tell-all. But I really do think that TLC kind of welcomes this behavior and even encourages it to be over the top, insulting, uh, just uh, demeaning other people. They love that. So back then, the level-headed Jamal was praised for being one of the most intellectual cast members. I don't know if I go that far. This this seems to be like going way too far here with the praise for Jamal. Uh, cast member children as he helped his mom navigate her relationship with Usman Omar. He became a household name once he revealed uh, he was revealed as Veronica Rodriguez's love interest. Once again, I think this is going way too extreme. Jamal's not a household name by any means. Jamal's feud with Tim Malcolm also gained attention. Meanwhile, Tim joined the Single Life cast in Season 4 after his breakup with girlfriend Linda Ramirez. Viewers became certain that Tim had a type when he bumped into Colombian woman Luisa at a singles event and immediately hit it off. Luisa had concerns about Tim dodging her kiss on the show. Tim finally revealed that he and Luisa split during the Single Life tell-all. Meanwhile, Luisa may have moved on to dating the ex-boyfriend of Tim's ex term best friend if her behavior at the reunion was any indication. So fans believe that Jamal at least tried to hook up with Luisa, and people have called Jamal an F-boy, so basically he'll hook up with anything, and uh, I have no reason to, to doubt that. Uh, I think that if Luisa's interested, I think Jamal is interested, and uh, if TLC is going to call them, I have no doubt 
that they would form a couple to come on the show. Jamal met Luisa when Tim and Veronica went on a double date. The couples play pickleball together, which is where Luisa may have bonded with Jamal over the dinner that followed. Now, Jamal noted that Tim and Veronica's close bond was making both of them feel uncomfortable. Tim had relied on Veronica to even place his order since Veronica knew how Tim liked the steak. Jamal and Luisa shared annoyance over Tim and Veronica's friendship could have led to them talking about the BFFs behind their backs. Jamal was pacifying Luisa before the tell-all when she was about to face Veronica and Tim and call out their friendship. Jamal and Luisa have clearly been chatting after their simultaneous splits with both Veronica and Tim. They both knew exactly what to say to trigger Tim and Veronica during the reunion. So basically, they formed a tag team. Like a wrestling tag team, they formed a little stable there together, and they communicated before to try to figure out how to best push both Tim and Veronica's buttons. I have no doubt to believe that's true. Cast members do that regularly. They often have chats together, and so uh, I have no doubt that is uh, true. When Tim made a remark, uh, when um, Jamal made a remark insinuating that Tim was gay, Luisa joined him in mocking her ex-boyfriend. Luisa also tried to paint Jamal's ex in a, in a bad light, Veronica, by claiming Veronica admonished Jamal for being jobless, after a drunken night out. Now, Luisa wanted to show she was supporting Jamal. No matter how wrong he was for treating Veronica badly, Luisa looked like she was trying to impress Jamal and let him know that she had his back. While Luisa was trying to stir up drama during the reunion, she was also doing it while making Jamal look like a nice guy. Now, a Reddit user commented, I think Luisa was lying through her teeth. I also think her and Jamal are doing the deed. On a thread about Luisa's lies, and several fans agreed that Luisa and Jamal were sleeping together. Of course, Jamal follows Luisa on Instagram. Now, this might not mean anything, or it might mean a lot, but usually people that are on the same seasons together, and many of the fiancé, uh, you know, cast members in general, follow each other on Instagram because it's like a community. So even if they don't fully like each other, they'll still normally follow each other unless there's some kind of crazy drama happening between the two of them. Luisa may have taken a liking to Jamal after realizing that Tim was not physically attracted to her and Jamal was not taking things seriously with Veronica. Luisa was bitter and hurt about seeing Tim's behavior at the restaurant date. Getting together with Jamal would help Luisa get revenge on both Tim and Veronica at the same time, perhaps. Interestingly, Jamal and Luisa are both following each other on Instagram. It doesn't really mean they're dating, but who knows? Perhaps uh, there's more in, them the in their DMs than meets the eye. So Luisa defended Jamal too much at the tell-all is another hint that perhaps there's something going on here. So Luisa and Jamal teamed up to destroy Veronica and Tim's reputation. If not a romantic relationship, they could be looking to come across as the new best friend duo in the franchise to replace Tim and Veronica. According to them, Tim and Veronica's friendship is not genuine since they talk behind each other's backs. Jamal is already a regular in pillow talk with his mom, and he might just decide he wants a new partner who could be Luisa. Luisa already proved her allegiance by revealing she was offended when Veronica called him trash. Luisa's body language in the tell-all suggested that she was a liar and childish, even though whatever she did was to let Jamal know that she had his back. Luisa and Tim's cause for their breakup is yet to be revealed on The Single Life. It won't be surprising if Jamal is the reason Luisa could have cheated on Tim with a co-star. It'll be interesting to see if Jamal and Luisa do their own pillow talk couch. So there you have it. It's... um. You know, there's a lot of speculation here, uh, you know, um, obviously. So, you know, um, Jamal and Veronica, they broke up. So they broke up. Uh, Jamal broke up with her via text uh, with a peace emoji. So that's what happened there. And, um, you know, this is getting some some uh, some traction even on Reddit. So Jamal actually becoming, you know, th this article kind of speaks of Jamal in a positive light, but he's becoming a bit of a villain based on what I'm seeing people post about him. And uh, this is on Reddit here, and people are calling Jamal Kimbali Jr. And he made a post, this was a few days ago, and it says here, Therapist, what do we say when our actions have upset someone? He says, Ho's mad. Therapist says, no. Charlotte sent me back west. Uh, and then he says there. So, I don't know, kind of immature and stupid. I don't really get the joke. Maybe you guys do. Maybe you guys find it funny. Maybe it's flying over my head. But I find that immature and stupid and not funny. But <laughs> perhaps perhaps I'm missing it here. Um, then um, he responded to a comment here. 
saying asking me to move to Charlotte after only meeting me less than five times was crazy. So he's, he's saying that Veronica was crazy for expecting him to, um, you know, move with her to Charlotte, move cities and to have a serious life. And, and I think that Jamal is just basically exposing himself as the immature child that he is. He still lives with his mom and he comes off immature uh, and a little childish. And so he's kind of exposing himself in the way that he seems to be approaching this question here about Veronica. Now, obviously, Veronica should have known better than to get involved with a guy that doesn't appear to be into a serious relationship, is 10 years younger. But of course, I mean, the other on the other side of this whole thing is that, you know, both of these people, Veronica and Jamal, were most likely not even in a real relationship, guys. This was most likely a phony relationship for 90 Day Fiance because TLC thinks that we're all a bunch of suckers and that we can't smell BS when it's right in front of us. But this relationship has always smelled like BS to me from the get-go. And, of course, this is another one of those relationships that was spoiled months ago. You know, we've, we've uh, spoken about Big Ed and Liz on the current season of uh, Happily Ever After and how that relationship is spoiled. We've also spoken about Michael and Angela, you know, and the relationship, or at least what we're going to see on Happily Ever After, if they ever come on, if they haven't been canceled yet, is going to be Angela's journey to Nigeria to try to get Michael to get his visa approved and then come back to the U.S. But of course, in real time, we are so ahead of that, so far ahead of that, to the point that Michael has already left Angela in the USA. And so in the Big Ed and Liz case, we're seeing their relationship and them trying to get married, but we already know that they're already separated and gone their separate ways. Liz already has a new boyfriend. And this was another one of those cases we knew that Jamal and Veronica were Splitsville way months before the season of the single life drop. So TLC dropping the ball here. They're dropping the ball recently. They're giving out spoilers or not them, but you know, the cast members are giving out spoilers left, right and center. And honestly, it's making it painful to watch the segments when you already know what happens. And uh, of course, this was even about a week ago on, um, you know, 90 Day Fiance and Censored on Reddit. People have been speculating that Jamal and Louisa are going to be a couple just based on their tell all performance. So if we look on Instagram, this is what Jamal is posting here. So uh, this is his latest post. And. He posted this kind of cryptic message uh, just yesterday. And, and when I saw it, I mean, my first thought was that he was talking about something that happened on the show, which is <laughs> what he wants us to think. But then, you know, he's saying, no, that's not it. So he says here, do you ever think to yourself what could have been? So he's trying to be clickbait. He's trying to be smart. He's trying to be, I guess, funny in a sneaky way. He's trying to capture our attention by uh, telling us something that he thinks that we want to hear, that he feels uh, bad or he feels disappointed by how the relationship with Veronica ended. But then he's saying, no, 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 that's not what I'm talking about. So uh, being kind of sneaky here. So uh, live with no regrets, brother. Uh, Mike Burke says, he says, try my best. So he's trying to make it seem like he's sad, depressed uh, over something. I, I, I don't know. It's It's weird. And then he says, for context, this post isn't about anyone involved in the series. This is raw, unedited energy. I appreciate you all. And when I saw this comment, I started getting Jabri Bell vibes. I started getting that kind of toxic positivity, so to speak, that, you know, I even though this message is not positive, but the part where he says this is raw, unedited energy and I, appre I, I appreciate you all I don't know there's something that just doesn't feel quite authentic about that it feels kind of phony because the whole post here I feel like it's clickbait like he is trying to trick people into believing one thing because he wants attention so this whole thing feels disingenuous to me and then he uh he posts this send help I'm hurt by Jamal Menzies you know he He's saying, hinting that he's hurt. I don't know. And then he posts this picture where he's just looking down like he's depressed. I don't know, guys. I feel like this is fake. I don't know. I, I feel like this is just him trying to get attention. And then he says here, sometimes loneliness is the, pri the price you pay for growth. So 
just some cryptic stuff but for some reason it just doesn't really hit the mark with me perhaps perhaps i'm wrong and perhaps there's more to this than than i see but it feels uh unauthentic to me i'm sorry this is happening to us it's really heartbreaking and sad so i don't know maybe jamal has some um you know mental health problems that he hasn't disclosed yet but the thing is it's hard to put this out there without giving any con he's not giving any context He's not saying exactly what happened. He's just putting some sad pictures out there with zero context. He's not saying anything. It's not about anybody on the show. He's not saying if it's about anybody in general. He's not saying anything. So giving zero context, it just feels to me like an attention grab. Perhaps there's more to it. Perhaps he has some mental health problems. And if he does, I don't want to judge him. But I know and we know and you guys know that people on the show are huge cloud chasers. And Jamal, to me, is one of those people. He's a cloud chaser. I think it's why he was on the show. Relationship with Veronica was never even serious. They saw them saw they, they saw each other for a little bit. And, you know, it took some time before they were exclusive with each other. The relationship, I don't even think, was authentic on either side. I don't think Veronica was looking for a 10-year younger boy toy when she has a child and she's more of a serious person and jamal was never really fully uh, into a serious relationship it was obvious with veronica so the whole relationship to me made no sense and so i really think that they both did it for cloud chasing and especially on jamal's part so when you put that uh, into consideration then i see these posts in a different light but like i said if there's something going on i don't want to be too harsh you guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below but more importantly do you guys think that Jamal and Louisa will make a good couple? Is that a couple you would like to see on the show? I think it has the potential to be one of the most hated couples on 90 Day Fiance. But, you know, you guys will let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up. If you did, hit that subscribe button down below for more content here on the channel. And I will see you guys very soon. Take care.